My character's name is Hannah Gittleman and she is a Mossad agent, so she's in the Israeli Special Forces. And essentially, um, she's wireless. She's kind of like a human blackberry. She doesn't uh, have to be connected to anything and yet can read emails and telephone calls and um, essentially connect to all of the cacophony of information in the ether. I think for Hannah it becomes almost second nature, it's like breathing. Um, so it won't be something visual really, it just she's able to control uh, elements of communication over wireless systems which can affect so much and I don't think anyone really knows how much it damage or, or uh, how much benefit it, that kind of a power can offer. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the different kind of surprising ways that it happens. Um, but as far as like a person playing that, it really is like breathing. I don't think that there's anything like squeezing the eyes or, or a fireball popping out of my hand or anything like that. It's just a thought and it happens. And it's very easy and it's just, you know, simple. Her grandmother was a resistance fighter in World War II. Um, she was a survivor of Auschwitz. And her mother uh, fought in Israel as a jet fighter uh, pilot. I think in 1957 she was one of the first female uh, fighter pilots. And so she comes from this wonderful legacy of freedom fighters. Um, and I think that she feels this mandate for herself to uh, fight against injustices, against the, uh, in a way, oppression of people who are outside of, of whatever uh, normal group is, you know? Um, so I, I think that, that she has an element of wanting to save the world or save, uh, save people, you know? It was like playing a comic book hero that, that people were already familiar with, um, which is brilliant because in a way as an actor I had a wonderful foundation to work from already, which was written by the uh, comic book writers. So it was fantastic. It was a really wonderful experience. Different, but, but great. My character is on a search. You, you described the gentleman with the horn rimmed glasses. That puts me into contact uh, with uh, a doctor in Africa who's working on mutating DNA. So I get caught and trapped in Africa. In order to get out, this gentleman told me that he was working for the CIA. And I was very excited to work with him because I thought that uh, I would be able to help people save the world. Um, I discovered that he wasn't a part of the CIA. And so now I've been lied to once again. And this seems to be a theme for Hannah, right? There's a trust issue and whatnot. Um, and so I go on the hunt to find him and to find out what exactly he's done because he's changed me in some way. And I also discover that he's changed a lot of people in, in a very dangerous and, and drastic way. So I go on the hunt to find him and I come across uh, Matt's character, Ted Sprague. Uh, who is able to, uh, he's a radioactive man, and so he's a part of the means of uh, getting to the horn rim glasses gentleman.